students today we will discuss about a brief idea about what agronomy is actually today i will teach you how to make a bird's eye view on agronomy so what basically agronomy is agronomy is field and crop management so how to manage field what we have to manage we have to manage the crop right so the main component is here the soil soil we have to manage we have to sow the seed and then we have to manage the crop in such a way so that it harvest maximum solar radiation and it give us uh, a produce an economic output with minimum price that is the main goal of agronomist okay to use the resources optimally and to get maximum output from that right so what is the basic component like soil is the basic component first i describe okay what is in soil soil how it is beneficial for crop it anchors the crop support physically to the crop to to stand on it then second thing it provides water mineral to the plant then third thing soil has life you know soil has life it is a source of infinite life right if one gram soil we take then we, we we find millions of microorganisms in soil so what they do they absorb that plant nutrients they decompose the organic matter and make them and mineralize them to up, to increase the nutrient content of that soil the rhizosphere so uh, so this is the part of soil then if we see phylosphere that is environment right even if rhizosphere there is environment and phylosphere that is upper portion of the plant there is also environment right so there are two factors like biotic factors and abiotic factors which affect the crop in soil the biotic factors are like microbes as i said so and there are abiotic factors also in soil soil air soil water and uh, soil temperature these are the abiotic factors in soil affecting crop then in atmosphere there are biotic and abiotic factor also so there are biotic factors like uh, weed then uh, birds then human these affect the crop right and there are abiotic factors like solar radiation temperature precipitation all these are abiotic factors those affect the crop the most second most important thing is atmosphere environment crop environment crop ecology what is ecology ecology is the effect of surrounding of an organism on the organism right so that surrounding may be biotic may be abiotic and may be both so that is ecology so we studied soil and atmosphere of course then whenever we plant a seed we have to have a good seed bed so that it can germinate properly right it can establish uh, itself in the soil so we have to till the soil there comes tillage tillage is the physical manipulation of the soil right so there are primary tillage there are secondary tillage there are tillage implements right so what are the suitable tillage implements we will talk later but tillage is the concept like this we have to make the seed bed proper so that the plant can easily establish itself that's the main aim of tillage and some of the other advantages are like weed control of weeds like uh, control of pest and pathogens right so uh, we till the soil then we will sow the soil so the seed then suppose okay then there is basal application of the fertilizer so what are the fertilizers they actually soil provides the nutrient to the plant but fertilizer in readily available form and for a quick start it's needed and uh, if we do not apply fertilizer then the fertility of that soil will decline day by day year by year so that we apply fertilizer in every a uh, cropping period so what is a fertilizer fertilizer is any chemical that is used to stimulate the crop growth and to get uh, an optimum yield because there are 17 essential element you have heard uh, those uh, essentiality principles are there mainly we apply npk those major nutrients right because uh, the micronutrients they are not needed that much and they they can be obtained by the crop from uh the soil itself so we are not uh, mainly applying nitro uh, micronutrients but nowadays zinc deficiency iron deficiency boron deficiency are there so people are also applying and yes it's it is recommended also 
if your soil is deficient in zinc then you have to apply zinc because micronutrients are also very much important as micronutrient macronutrient so again in fertilizer what amount of fertilizer we have to apply there is a recommended dose of fertilizer for any every agroecological situation for every uh, crop right so when to apply that fertilizer fertilizer scheduling like water scheduling irrigation scheduling fertilizer scheduling is very much essential how to apply the fertilizer where to apply the fertilizer how much to apply the fertilizer right so what, what should be the source of fertilizer these are very much essential then uh, we applied it, applied the best uh, the fertilizer then we should sow the seed how to sow the seed whether we should broadcast the seed whether we should dibbling or drilling like that there are different kinds of like pora method kera methods are there also so to sow a seed we have to know what is the optimum spacing also in that way we can ma maintain that plant population so how that pop, uh, spacing we will decide that is decided by our crop geometry how i have uh, talked it uh, ab about it in earlier session like our leaf area index like whenever crop grows we should ma uh, manage in that way that it should not the leaves should not overlap in such a way that it act as parasitic leaf or it should not be such wider so that the solar radiation will fall directly on the ground and it will loss it is it will be of no use so we should manage that spacing in proper way so that maximum solar radiation it can the crop can acquire and uh, yes agronomically or uh, they, there should be no competition actually uh, between the crop in that way we should maintain the spacing there is recommended a uh, spacing for every crop right so uh, this is about spacing we we planted the uh, crop and we have to manage some herbicide to control those uh, weeds what are the weeds any unwanted plant in a particular field what what crop we expected then if any unwanted plant is out there it is it becomes a weed because we don't want that plant right and it competes with that crop how it compares if there is enough resource available there is no competition but what weed does it is so hardy and it is so like persistence in nature and it uptake maximum water maximum nutrient from the soil itself and it grows always the close vicinity of the crop so that it hampers directly through allopathy or indirectly by uptaking the nutrients from the soil so we have to manage them how we have to manage them we can uh, manage them culturally we can manage them biologically we can manage them mechanically we can manage them uh, herbis application of herbicide so what are these herbicides again these are certain chemicals to weed uh, to kill weeds right so they are also classified in different ways like pre-emergence pre-plant incorporation pre-emergence then post-emergence herbicides then systemic herbicide contact herbicide according to their uh, translocation in plant then there are mechanisms modes uh, how the herbicide absorbs in plant how it translocated in plants uh, how it affects and which uh, mechanism it affects so these are the modes, the mechanism, how it affects, how it kills the plant. This is the mechanism of herbicide action. So whenever we apply any herbicide frequently, then herbicide resistance develop. What is this herbicide resistance? There are uh, cross resistance, there are multiple resistance, there are simple resistance, there are negative cross resistance, like that. So then, uh, okay, we applied herbicide or we mechanically or we just uh, blind hole that filled in case of potato or sugarcane uh, before germination of that crop uh, or uh, we may apply herbicide to control weeds okay next thing uh, we, we have to schedule the irrigation before scheduling of irrigation we have to know the uh, status of the water in soil or we have to uh, estimate the weather condition when it will rain right so is it necessary to irrigate or not for the crop what is the cro water requirement of that crop all these things we have to consider and how we will irrigate the crop uh, whether we should just uh, uh, plot the crop we should just uh, 
uh, apply the irrigation in sprinkler drip or check basin or uh, basin irrigation like that so these are water management there are efficiencies also scheduling of irrigation also this is water management right we manage the fertility we manage the weed we managed water what else we have to do we should know the critical stages we should know the critical stages when to apply the fertilizer uh, when to apply the irrigation water like in case of uh, CRI stage in wheat uh, panicle initiation and tillering in case of rice in pulses it is pre-flowering and pop formation so these are some of the critical stages when we must apply water if it is dry if it is not taking enough moisture from the soil so these are some of the basic concepts how we manage the field properly our main objective you will find to harvest enough solar radiation from uh, atmosphere to use the resources available properly and uh, to use the soil uh, to manipulate the soil in such a way that the crop uh, would produce maximum yield from minimum economic uh, cost of cultivation rather I say. So this is the basic bird eye view of agronomy and yes uh, there is cropping system also uh, how to what crops we we should grow in that in a particular field in particular region what uh, should be our cropping pattern which is the best uh, cropping pattern how we should select the cropping pattern what is crop rotation what is pyra cropping what is multiple cropping what is mono cropping what is sole cropping all these things in cropping system also of uh, there is land equivalent ratio when we are going for intercropping then whether the intercropping is advantageous or whether the soil cropping is advantageous we have we can calculate from land equivalent ratio then there is sustainable agriculture precision agriculture in precision agriculture what we do we apply GIS, GPS and remote sensing technique to uh, optimally use the resources, right? In sustainable agriculture, what we do? We have to minimize the chemical input and we have to maximize the uh, organic fertilizer or organic source. Then we have to judiciously combine these two so that it will not negatively impact the environment. We, we have to sustain the environment along with the crop production part. So these are the some of the basic concepts. You have to overlook the things. When you, whenever you are reading, you have to give a bird eye view on the topic on agronomy so that it will be a lot more easier than you think. You might be thinking that, okay, 600, 700 pages of book, how I can read it for any entrance examination? So read it in such a way that, okay, this is our farm. This is the soil for the components of soil there is soil physics soil chemistry soil biology then we sow a seed how to sow a seed how to plant a seed what kind of seed we require there are different kind of seed like uh, breeder seed then foundation seed then certified seed these are the kinds of seed what kind of seed we generally use we generally use the certified seed in farming farm field then how to use the seed like whether we should apply in broadcasting, whether we should dibbling the seed, whether we should drilling the seed, whether we should apply it in pora method, whether we should apply in kera method, then what we should think? Then uh, what should be the proper, uh, proper spacing? What should be the proper spacing, right? So, uh, to uh, get a maximum output and to uh, reduce that intra-plant competition. So how to eliminate the weeds? How to apply the fertilizer? What fertilizer we have to apply, right? Then uh, how to control the weeds like so whether we should control it culturally whether we should control it mechanically whether we should control biologically whether we should control using herbicide then there are certain techniques then then when to apply that herbicide what should the proper carrier whether we should apply it in soil whether we should apply it in foliage like that then we have to think like what cropping system we first we have to think what cropping system we have to grow like what should be our uh, best cropping system for this particular situation for this particular geographical location right so how to manage the water how to schedule the irrigation water and these are the certain these are certain things we have to think when whenever uh, we are studying agronomy so that we can retain this in our mind for long term i hope you are getting my point if you have any doubt at any point in agronomy you can ask me right i am free to help you